The name of my magazine is called The Noise. The genre of my magazine is pop music and it is targeted at females aged 16 to 20. Within my magazine I have included key conventions of a professional product. On my front cover I have used mass head, strap line, buzzwords, website and anchoring text. I use bright bold colours for my masthead as this would attract to the target audiences of females and it stands out against other magazines. I also chose this style of font in my masthead as it creates a sense of rebellion which associates with the target audience. My masthead is the noise. I chose this as the words associate with music. I included the anchoring text to grab the viewer's attention further and as the target audience being 16 to 20, this is the age where females enjoy reading personal stories of artists they enjoy listening to. I altered the images on Photoshop. I altered the brightness and contrast to enhance them to make them appeal more towards its target audience. I included shadows around my masthead to make it appear more a pro professional. From my questionnaire, I noticed people were interested in free items with their magazines. Therefore, I added a free lip gloss with my magazine to attract to a wider range of audience. My contents page had the same font as the front cover, so it carries out the same theme throughout all of the pages. I included buzzwords such as exclusive to make the viewer think they are getting more value for their money and things that their friends might not have already seen. I used boxes to separate the pages into sections so the viewer did not get confused and can easily access each section. I included the same band on the contents page as I did on the front cover so it builds up to the main story. My magazine also contained images of rebellion behaviour, what the target audience enjoy doing, and a sense of having fun. They also have fashionable clothing on as it promotes the fashion section within the magazine. When doing my questionnaire I realised females wanted a fashion, fashion section in the magazine. Also, the target audience would normally dress in a similar manner. Again, the brightly image gives the magazine a sense of life and energy. I think the company Bauer are more likely to distribute my magazine as they already publish magazines which are of similar genres to mine. And they are very successful magazines. As my magazine is similar to these magazines, they may want to publish a new updated version. My magazine is aimed at females aged 16 to 20. Therefore, I use very feminine colours throughout my magazine. For example, I use pink on every colour as this is a very feminine colour. The images contain females dressed appropriately according to the target audience of young females. I address my audience by using the vocabulary they would use. I added music artists which suit the genre of the magazine. I listed the featured artists of the magazine on the front page to initially get their attention. I priced my magazine at £2.50 which is a reasonable price as my target audience may not have a job. On my double page spread I use images of artists doing natural poses so that the target audience can see the music artist from a different point of view. I put the website on every page of my magazine so that it promotes the magazine further. Also on my double page spread, I separated the questions from the answers so the viewers would not get confused. I have learned how to use Photoshop and how to edit photos. I can alter the contrast and brighten the images. I'm able to use different fonts and I can also add other effects to the text such as glows and shadows. From the preliminary task, I have learnt how to make a magazine look more professional in the way I have laid each section out and used images of a good quality. I have also added key conventions to make the magazine appear more professional.